Hi, my name is Jana, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really nice tool that will help you create a German cover letter. And I've decided to show you this tool because I know that a lot of you have been struggling with creating a German cover letter, meaning specifically um, writing a full text in German language. And let me tell you, writing a cover letter is a challenge for native speakers as well. So I can only imagine how difficult it must be if you don't speak German as a native language. So I found this really cool tool, which I think will be of great help to you. And I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Um, also, this video is part of a, an entire series which I'm publishing here where I'm trying out different online tools that will make your life as a um, job applicant in Germany a bit easier. So make sure that you take a look at the other videos as well. Um, I'm going to link them at the end of the video. I'm creating a playlist with all the videos and also make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you like my YouTube channel. I'd be really happy about it. Now let me share my screen with you. So the tool I'm going to show you is um, um, a tool you can use on a website called lebenslauf.com. So for those of you who have seen my last video um, where I tested lebenslauf.com as well to generate a um, um, German resume, this is the kind of follow-up video that I promised you, right? <laughs> um, so today I'm going to use the same website to create a cover letter in German language. And it's a tool which is um, offered by Zing. So Zing is a German equivalent um, to LinkedIn. Um, it's very similar. So in order to download um, the cover letter at the end, you would need a Zing profile. Um, same as for the CV that I tested in the other video. Um, but I think even if you don't want to create a Zing profile, it's a very good source of inspiration. So you don't have to sign up at the beginning. You only have to sign up if you want to download the cover letter. So maybe it's also just a helpful source for inspiration if you don't want a Zing profile. I'll leave that up to you. In any case, maybe it could also be helpful to have one, right? Um, it's free of charge. Um, so if you want to learn about that, um, I also link another video at the end of um, this uh, video here um, where I talked about Zing versus LinkedIn. But now let's take a look at lebenslauf.com. Um, here you can see that it's in German language. I hope you are fine with that. Um, I kept the CV that I generated in my other video and now I want to add a cover letter. So to do that, all I have to do would be to click here and then bam, you get a fully written cover letter. It's really nice. It's a full text and it comes with the same signature that I uploaded for um, the uh, resume. Also, it comes with the full design and the design is in line with the one that I've chosen for the CV earlier. And I can also easily change it. So up here, for instance, I can change it, maybe choose one, let's choose one where you can really see how the design adapts. I choose this one. So if I click here, it changed the entire design, right? You can see that the colors are different, the font style is different and so on. But now I'll switch back to this one because personally, I really like it, um, the blue design. So this is really nice. It comes with an address line where you can add the address of the company you're applying to and then also with an address line for your personal address. So here I would say that's one of the downsides. It doesn't automatically pull your personal data from the CV that you created um, if you've been using it. Um, to generate a CV as well. So you would have to type that in manually, um, but I think that's yeah easily done, right? Um, so you can just type in your data here. I'm not going to do this now to um, save us a bit of time, um, but I think you can easily use that. Then you would have to adapt the date. Somehow it doesn't pull this data from um, the CV either, or it also doesn't use today's date because we are not in year 2016. <laughs> I'm, I don't have a time machine here. Um, so I would have to update that as well. So I would just type 22nd October, 2021. That's today's date. But I think that's also easily done and it's nicely formatted. Now, here we can see the subject line, which is really important. So I've talked about this in my previous videos. Um, the subject line is really important because that's where you point out which position you're applying for. So make sure that you uh, type in the name of the position here, because here it just says Mustermitarbeiter, <laughs> which is, um, yeah, uh, 
kind of not a real term. So you would have to fill that in. Um, and now comes a really nice feature of this tool. And I think this is what will be really helpful for you. You have these different paragraphs, which are already a nice template, but you can even make changes to these paragraphs. So for instance, you can choose if you are applying to a job ad or if you're sending out a speculative application or if you were already in touch with the HR department or someone else within the company, and then it adapts the text automatically. So let's say I'm coming through a personal reference and I've already been in touch with them via email. See, there you go. I've adapted it and now the, te the text is updated. So all I would have to do would be to um, change the title of the position and I can do this here. So I can type in, let's say, marketing manager and then it adopts, adapts this automatically. Also, I can choose what kind of position I'm applying for. So this is a permanent position, um, a full-time employment, but if you are a freelancer or if you are interning, if you're planning to do an internship or if you're applying for a working student position, it's all possible here, really nice. Um, same goes for the other paragraphs. So here um, in this paragraph, um, it, you talk about your current position and what you're currently doing. Again, it doesn't pull the data from your CV, unfortunately, so you have to type in the data manually. But still, I think the fact that it turns it into a fully written text is really helpful, right? So you can type in the, name, the title of your current position. And also, if you are not employed at the moment, you can change it to something else. So if you're studying or if you're currently interning, you can just easily change that here. Um, and then also you can add your job title, the name of your current employer if you're working somewhere and talk about your current tasks. So you can add up to three um, focus areas that you're currently working on. And I would recommend you to um, choose uh, the kind of wording that also occurs in your job ad. So I talked about that in uh, my video where I talk about ATS tools. I'll link it for you up here. Um, so it's really important to use the same keywords and you can make use of that here because you can type in um, words that you want to use. Also, another feature I didn't point, out, point that out yet, for every paragraph, you have three different options to choose from, like three different variations of the text. So if you don't like the paragraph, maybe you may want to change it. And then it uses the same features that you have selected here, but um, it just changes the, the way the text is written, really nice. Then also you can, um, in the next paragraph, you can choose from different options of why you're interested in this company and why you're interested in this specific industry. Um, and also maybe why you think that this company is a good match for you. Um, so here you only have predefined um, uh, drop downs, which I think is a good inspiration, but maybe you can add something that's a bit more personal as well. Up to you, of course. And then in the last paragraphs, paragraph, it's all about your personal skills and competencies. And I know a lot of people struggle with um, yeah, finding the right way of um, uh, explaining your um, soft skills, for instance. So here um, you can choose from different soft skills that you want to highlight, for instance, about your way of working and other competencies. Um, so it lets you choose. Um, but again, you may want to add something that's uh, a bit more unique or in line with the job ad. And also I would always recommend bringing in like a few uh, specific examples of where you have proven these skills. So that's not something which is, which is included here. I think it would also be difficult to include that in an automatic generator. Um, but I think that's something you could maybe add if um, you make use of this template. And then we have the last paragraph where you don't have um, options to adapt um, the content, um, but it talks about availability here. So if you are not available immediately, you have to change that. Also, it does not include salary expectations and um, your visa status. So it's not specifically designed for internationals. So for salary ex expectations, you can still find um, something here, which you could copy. So it suggests something you could copy and paste it into the paragraph here. 
Also for your visa, you would have to add that manually if it's um, applicable for you, if you need a work visa to work in Germany. Um, if you're here on a student visa and want to highlight that um, you're already here and um, you are here on a student visa and you can convert it or something else, um, then make sure that you add it to the last paragraph and also make sure that you include your salary expectations if they ask for it. Um, so this is, yeah, I think all you can do here. And then in the end, you can um, download the file. Unfortunately, it only lets you download um, the file as a PDF file. Um, but again, I think it's um, really, really helpful. So if you need a Word document, maybe you can still make use of it. Um, and I think in general, it's a really cool tool because I know that writing a cover letter is a really big challenge. And if you're not a native speaker, then I think this is um, the best option you can use, at least from what I have seen so far, because all the other templates you will find out there are um, just general templates, right? So, and I think the challenging part of writing a cover letter is the fact that you have to adapt it to your individual profile, which means a lot of work. And even if you use this generator, you will still have to put in some work to adapt the contents, but you have an entirely different starting base as compared to using a very general cover letter. So I highly recommend it. I would be really curious in hearing um, about your experiences. Maybe some of you um, would want to try that out. Also, if you have other tools you would like me to try out, or if you have other tools that yeah you found really cool or not helpful at all, do share your experiences with us here in the comments. Let me know. I'd be very interested in learning about that as well. And yeah, apart from that, if you like this video, um, then leave me a subscription. I'd be really happy about that. And I wish you all the best for your job search.